meteorologist Helen Holt with your Storm Track 3 forecast. Well, we started off the day with a lot of clouds. Many of us actually picking up some rain. This is a time lapse from Chalote Point down in Brunswick County. Every so often you see a downpour moving through there, dropping a lot of rain over a short period of time. And in the middle, a lot of clouds. This second half of the day, not as wet. And this evening has been mainly dry. This is our current scene on our radar and satellite. A few sprinkles over near Fort Fisher and Bald Head Island pushing offshore and another cell just weakening as it moves further to the east in Sampson County right now. Otherwise, it's just cloud cover overhead. It's warm and muggy. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 70s, 75 degrees for Elizabethtown here in the Port City, 77. Southport checking in at 78 and Calabash 76 degrees right now. And tonight, temperatures will fall down to the low 70s across the board. Mostly cloudy skies and then staying very humid out there. A southerly wind 5 to 10 miles per hour for your day tomorrow. Afternoon highs will be a little bit warmer than what we were today. In Wilmington, we only reached 81 degrees. And then tomorrow, 87 degrees is what I'm forecasting for Wilmington. Elizabethtown and Whiteville should climb up into the mid to upper 80s. Partly sunny, a few isolated storms possible in the afternoon. A westerly breeze, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And notice our pinpoint future cast not picking up on the showers we have right now, but they're few and far between. And your commute tomorrow should be dry. There's hinting at maybe a few sprinkles out there, but again, I think your commute in to work tomorrow will be quiet. In the afternoon, a few isolated pop up storms with the heating of the day sparking up along the sea breeze. That's definitely a possibility, but low risk for rain over the next couple of days especially what we've had the past few days. It's been quite unsettled. It looks like things will be a little bit drier heading into Thursday, even into Friday. More of the same. Your commute in should be quiet. And then in the afternoon, only about a 20 to 30 percent chance for a pop up shower or storm this weekend. That's when it looks like it might be a become a little bit more active Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday. It looks like those rain chances will be about 40 to 50 percent chance. Not looking like a washout by any means, but we could see scattered downpours move across the area Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. It looks like it will be much quieter, lower humidity and a lot more sunshine. So that that's something definitely to look forward to. Tropical storm Cindy expected to make landfall in near uh, the eastern part of Texas, western part of Louisiana here very shortly as it moves further inland. It will basically just weaken and eventually just dissipate as we go into the weekend. Winds right now 50 miles per hour moving North Northwest at seven miles per hour and that will edge its way a little bit closer, or at least whatever's left of Cindy and that will enhance the risk for more showers this weekend. But you notice Amanda that heat. Oh yeah, it's coming <laughs> back into the picture. I'll enjoy the 81 that we had today because right. 91 is close Hot. by. Yes. <laughs> right, and it's Definitely. summer, so we have to get ready for these 90s, but I think 81 is good. Yeah, the mentioned. first day of summer wasn't too nice though, unfortunately, no, no. but hopefully we get some beach time in soon. All right, sounds like a plan <laughs> this weekend. Thank you, Helen.